Good morning, dear students. Today, I shall continue T from Assam. Pranjal, who had been born and brought up on a plantation, did not share Rajveer's excitement. When Rajveer saw T plantations for the first time, he became excited. But Pranjal did not become excited as like Rajveer. Because Pranjal had been born and brought up on a tea plantation. So he was used to of these plantations. It was not new for him. Oh, this is a tea country now. This is a tea plantation now. He said. Assam has the largest concentration of plantation in the world. The fact is, Assam is the largest concentration of tea plantation in the world. And a person can see enough gardens to last you a lifetime, to continue a lifetime. I have been reading as much as I could about tea, Rajveer said. Rajveer told Pranjal that he had been reading as much as he could about tea. He said, nobody really knows who discovered tea, but there are many reasons. Nobody exactly knows behind the story of discovery of the tea, but there are many legends, there are many stories. What legends? Pranjal said. Well, there is the one about the Chinese emperor who always boiled water before drinking. The very first story about the origin of tea is there was a Chinese emperor, Chinese king who used to boil water before drinking it. He used to take boiled water one day a few leaves of the twigs, a few leaves of the branch burning under the pot fell into the water. One day while the water was boiling, a few leaves of the twigs of the branches which were burning under the pot fell into the water which was boiling and gave it a delicious flavor, gave it a tasty flavor. And it is said that the leaves of the twigs which fell down into the water were none other than tea leaves. On seeing the tea plantations at the very first time, Rajvir became extremely excited. Pranjal, who had been born and brought up, on a tea plantation did not share his excitement, did not become excited. Now, Pranjal was told that Assam has the largest concentration of tea plantation in the world. Even you can see enough gardens which would continue, which would remain in your memories a lifetime. Now, nobody exactly knows about the discovery of tea, but there are many legends. The very first legend is a Chinese emperor used to drink water after boiling it. One day, some of the leaves of the twigs of the branches which were burning under the pot fell into the boiling water and made the water delicious. It is sad that the leaves which fell down into the water were tea leaves. Now let's move ahead. Tell me another scoped Pranjal. Making fun of Rajveer, Pranjal said, Tell me the another story about the origin of tea. We have another legend to Bodhidharma, an ancient Buddhist ascetic. Cut off his eyelids because he felt sleepy during meditations. 
the another story is an ancient an old buddhist saint named bodhidharma cut off his eyelids the reason he felt sleepy during meditation when bodhidharma was meditating he felt sleepy so he just cut off his eyelids ten tea plantation grew out of the eyelids eyelids cut off by bodhidharma grew out into ten tea plants the leaves of these plants when put in hot water the leaves of these ten plants when were put in hot water and drunk beni sleep excel sleep tea was first drunk in china it is said that tea was first drunk in china rajveer added as far back as 2700 bc it was first drunk in 2700 bc in fact actually words such as tea chai chini are from chinese language tea came to europe only in 16th century and was drunk more as a medicine than a than as a beverage than as a drink it is said that tea was first drunk in china in 20 2700 bc and the words chai chini tea are from chinese language tea came to europe in 16th century and people drink it more than more as a medicine than a beverage or than a drink the train clattered into marini junction the train making rattling sound stopped at marini junction the two boys pranjal and rajveer collected their luggage they collected their luggage and pushed their way to the crowded platform and started walking to the crowded platform pranjal's parents were waiting for them soon they were driving towards dekhi badi the tea garden managed by pranjal's father now they pranjal rajveer and pranjal's parents started driving towards dekhi badi dekhi badi is the tea garden which was managed by pranjal's father an hour later the car wheeled the car turned sharply off the main road the car sharply turned off the main road they crossed a cattle bridge and entered dekhi badi tea estate after crossing a cattle bridge they entered dekhi badi tea estate managed by pranjal's father on both sides of the gravel road the road was made of gravel on both the sides of the road were acres upon acres tea buses all the tea buses were neatly very cleanly pruned trimmed to the same height all the buses were neatly trimmed to the same height group of tea pluckers with bamboo basket on their backs wearing plastic aprons were plucking the newly sprouted leaves groups of tea pluckers those who pluck tea leaves are termed as tea pluckers so group of such people who had bamboo baskets on their base backs wearing plastic aprons were plucking the newly sprouted leaves of teas pranjal's father slow down to allow a tractor pulling a trailer load of tea leaves to pass a tractor which was pulling a trailer load of tea leaves was allowed by pranjal's father by slowing down the speed of the car pranjal's father slow down the speed of his car so that a tractor pulling a trailer load of tea leaves can pass 
This is the second flush or second sprouting period, isn't it, Mr. Barua? Rajvir asked. Rajvir said to Ranjal's father, Mr. Barua, that this is this is the second flush or sprouting period. Rajvir, ah, uh, it lasts from May to July and yields the best seed. This sprouting period lasts, continues from May. to july and yields and yield gives the best tea yeah you seem to have done your homework before coming pranjal's father answered in surprise on hearing rajveer with such wonderful description pranjal's father became surprised and he said that he said you look you look like you seem to have your done your homework before coming here on tea pra Yes, Mr. Barua. Rajvir admitted. Rajvir accepted. But I hope to learn much more while I'm here. While I'm here, I learn a lot of things here. In this chapter, we had an informative account of tea, where we talked about the origin of tea, the legends about the origin of tea. sprouting season of tea and assam the which has the largest concentration of tea plantations in the world and had a lot of information about tea plantations